A search warrant and press release from the BCA reveal Minneapolis police set up a gun purchase with Dalal Id the night he died using a confidential informant. The documents say Id was going to sell a gun like this, a MAC-10 high-capacity submachine gun similar to an Uzi. Hands up! Police say when they ordered him out of the car, after he tried to get away, he fired at them, prompting them to shoot. The search warrant says a handgun was in Id's lap, and the BCA says the MAC-10 was in the car. According to the search warrant, MPD officers knew that Id was selling firearms illegally and prohibited from possessing firearms. That stems from a 2018 incident in his parents' Eden Prairie home. Charges in that case say at the time, Id was not allowed in the home because he scares the children. But while in the basement where children slept at 1 a.m., he fired a shot into the shower wall. Bloomington police found him sleeping in a car with the gun in his pocket. It was reported stolen out of North Dakota. Court records show Id had been arrested many times and had also been convicted of theft and drug charges. The search warrant says the ATF was also aware Id had a stolen 12-gauge shotgun, and Eden Prairie Police told the BCA about his history. According to their records, Eden Prairie Police have had 19 incidents with Dalal Id and 27 calls to the home on Lee Drive in the last six years. The search warrant notes that was also the home of his brother Muhammad Id, who's currently in jail, charged with murder. Id's family criticized the BCA and Sheriff's Department's search of their home the night Id was killed, calling it inhumane. The BCA asked for the search warrant because Id had been currently living there, and the informant told them there were more guns inside. They asked the judge permission to search at night in case family members moved or destroyed evidence once they learned of Id's death. But they did not find any guns in the home and did not take anything while executing the warrant. The BCA is investigating the shooting, and today the Dakota County attorney announced he will decide whether to clear the officers or file charges rather than the Hennepin County attorney. Back to you.